more great ransomware. So usually when you see a new meet malware video, it's because there has been some kind of innovation in the malware department. And as you all know, malware authors deeply care about user experience. They keep working on ways to improve it and make it easier for you to give them your money. The sample we're looking at today actually has several such new features. And I'm going to talk about some of them, not exactly in depth, but in a little bit of detail, because it needs that. But if I started doing that right away, I'm sure some of you would be like, run the malware already. That's what I came here for. Give me back the 10 seconds of my life or whatever. So I'll just run the file and then we'll talk about it. First thing you see is uh, a zip attachment with spam mail, traditional delivery method. No surprises here. Very legit looking file name. This is totally what Office documents look like. But as you can see, it is an HTML application. So maybe a few points there. Now, once you execute it, it does give you this fake uh, WordPad window. It's not actually fake, but it does run WordPad and it gives you this error message and it makes you think that maybe it was actually a document. But in the background, it has a script executing and we'll soon see what it does. Instantly, you've got this ransomware payment window and all this can happen offline. You do not need to connect to the internet for any of this. And the encryption, you might think, would be weak given that it works offline. Usually that's how it works, right? The ransomware that tend to be unbreakable are ones that make use of a CNC server and store the private encryption key there. But in this case, it is a little bit different. That's why this is a very sophisticated sample. As you might have noticed, we have a new file over here. And if we take a look at it, it's called a key file. So when you execute this ransomware, it actually generates a key file specifically for your computer. It has a public RSA key, which it uses to generate the other keys. And ultimately, you're having a scenario in which you basically have some kind of uh, RSA key, which is being used for encryption. And then that key itself is encrypted with an AES key. Now I'm going to take you to the article for some of the technicalities, but this is just to give you an idea of how sophisticated the encryption method is. Right now, I believe it is kind of unbreakable. I haven't seen any decryptors for it. And the other funny thing about this ransomware is the options you're gonna get once you use this key file and log in, quote unquote, log in to um, your ransomware rescue server. For that, we're just gonna rely on bleeping computer because I don't feel like loading up tour and visiting those websites. But basically, um, this is what it looks like. So once you log in, you're gonna have your own dashboard. Look at that, improved user experience. This is real guys, no kidding. And you actually have different options. So you can do a full restore, which means it is going to give you back your files one time. You can buy immunity. You can buy immunity, which means um, you don't have to pay again if you happen to get infected once again by the same ransomware. And uh, there is a removal option, which I believe doesn't give you back your files. And there's a file restore option. Wow, I mean, they have different pricing. This literally looks like a you know security product. And it's, it's really amazing. So you synchronize with your key and then you get your payment options. And there's even a discount sometimes. Wow. <laughs> so these guys are thorough professionals. Right now, the ransomware is just being propagated in Russia, I believe, but I can see it coming everywhere very soon. And I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people end up paying for it, given the improved um, user experience. The website is definitely a lot more user-friendly and a lot less scary than some of the other ones. And now getting back to the encryption method that's being used here, we basically have the key file in which an RSA key is generated and then an AES key is generated. Then the RSA key is encrypted using the AES key and uh, the AES key is encrypted using the public RSA key, which is embedded into the executable. It'll make your mind spin. 
For the um, data files that it encrypts, the routine is simpler and quicker. It generates an AES key, then it encrypts the AES key with the generated RSA key and uh, encrypts the files with the final AES key. If you're like, whoa, 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 I have no clue what's going on. It was difficult just to say that without fumbling, trust me. <laughs> In my opinion, this is just incredible. I haven't seen anything like this before. And I hope um, I don't have to see more ransomware like this in the future, but I guess it's a faint and fading hope because we are probably going to see a lot more of this stuff. And I think soon they're going to create websites that'll just blur the distinction between actual security programs, which try to remove ransomware or try to decrypt your files, and the quote-unquote decryptors provided uh, based on payment by the cyber criminals. So once those lines are kind of blurred, even if users don't want to pay cyber criminals, they might think that I'm just paying a security company to get my files back when they're actually paying the cyber criminals. I'm sure that's a very cheerful way to conclude. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and share, because that helps. It helps me and it also helps you and other users stay informed, stay secure.